Hi guys, welcome back to Brown's Boutiques. I am Megan, and today I'm going to be showing you the slanted shell stitch, um, which I learned from watching Amanda with Amanda Crochets on YouTube. Um, her video I just saw posted very, uh, like a couple, maybe a day ago, or a day or two ago. Um, but it definitely caught my eye, and so I started working on a scarf with that same stitch right here. And I'm using this really pretty white yarn that has like that it's like that similar to that black one I made my uh, fingerless gloves and scarf out of that has the tinsel like sparkle material throughout just in the white and so I really like how it's turning out so far it's turning out to be a really great scarf it's good on width it's not too big not too small and so I wanted to show you guys how to do this one today because I thought it was so interesting it looks way intricate and a lot more difficult which I think are the best ones because then people are like oh, where did you buy your scarf? And it's like, oh no, I actually made it. And they're like, what? That looks so intricate. And so um, I like those a lot. And so I just wanted to show you how to do this stitch today. And so this is the one, I didn't want to take it apart because it was turning out so well to show you guys. So I'm going to show you on a different yarn here. It's like a soft pink, kind of soft rose color here. I already have uh, the foundation chain and then like the first row on it started. And so for the foundation, I did 22 stitches, which is what she had as well for her uh, swatch she was doing. Basically, it's multiples of four and then add two onto the end. And then what you do after you get that is in the second chain from the hook, you do single crochet and you do it all the way across. And so that's what I've already done here. So instead of 22, which is what you started with when you were doing the foundation, you have 21. And you can count the V's at the top as you go along to make sure you have 21. Again, this is for this size um, project. If you wanted to do something bigger, like a blanket, like she had a blanket she did, you could definitely do it. Just make sure it's a multiple of four and add two on. Um, so that'd be really cool to do. I think it'd be really cool to do a blanket, but I started with something small, <laughs> which is a scarf, which are really good to start out new stitches with just because you get a feel for it. You get practice with it and they're really easy to take apart um, and start over if you mess up, which is another great thing about crochet. And so then once you've done a few projects like that, you can definitely move to something bigger. And I'm going to actually be making a pair of my fingerless gloves to match this scarf, because I think that would be gorgeous for winter. And so yeah, and so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a like and a comment. Subscribe down below. My channel has almost 200 views, which I'm very excited about, very thankful for. <laughs> and I have seven subscribers, which is really cool for me. Uh, so please subscribe, it's free for you to do. And that way you'll catch all my videos um, that I post and get to enjoy my passion with me. And so back to the crochet for today, I'll, start bl I'll stop blabbing. <laughs> um, but today's video, again, I'm showing you the slanted shell stitch, which is just a variation of the shell stitch, which I've done on other projects before. So I did the foundation chain, I did single crochet back over it, I have 21 I counted, and then you do three, you chain three on the side for your turning, turn your work. I have to turn my camera. For some reason my camera setup hasn't been feeling the same for some reason. Alright, so what you do to start is in that same stitch right here, the first one right here, you ignore the three here. So these right here, this stitch right there, you're going to yarn over and you're going to do four double crochets in that stitch. So we're going to go one and a double crochet for those who are watching for the first time. You yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, you have two left. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And that is a double crochet. And you're going to do two more of those. So you have four in this first one. And it is a little awkward to hold it, so don't let that discourage you. But there's your first shell. Very pretty. I'm going to try and back out again. All right, so then you're going to skip three of the single crochets. So three of the stitches. So here's one, two, three. In the fourth one, you're going to single crochet, if I can get my hook right here, you're going to yarn over, pull through, you have two loops, yarn over, oh, pull through again, okay? 
So again, it's going to look kind of funny. It's going to be kind of hard to hold at first, but don't let that discourage you. Just keep it going. So after that single crochet in that stitch, you're going to chain two. All right. In that same stitch, you just did the single crochet in the chain two, yarn over, do four double crochets. So there's one. Here goes number two. And I'm showing you on a light colored because I know it's easier to see tutorials on the light coloring. But once you do a couple projects or you do a little bit of practice with it, then I'm sure this would be gorgeous in a dark color. But definitely take your time. She said it is beginner friendly, which I do agree because it's double crochets, it's single crochets, which you know are pretty basic. But there are our first two shells. It'll look better once, once we get going. And so again, this is, for this row only, you're going to skip three of the stitches. So again, one, two, three. The fourth one, single crochet, which is where you just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have the two loops, yarn over, pull through those two. Okay, then you're gonna chain two again. One, two, then four double crochets in that same stitch. I know it seems like a lot, it's gonna get crowded, but just work through it. I don't know how this would look, would look on a bulky yarn. I wanna practice quite a bit more before I try that. I don't know if it would work very well because you're doing so much in the stitches, but hey, you can always try it and you can see if it works or not. Nothing wrong with trying it. And see, so look how it's slanted. See, this is holding the project flat. See how the shells are slanted? Very pretty. All right, I'm getting a low battery, so we're gonna keep going, okay. So, one, two, three, four. Insert that hook. I'm gonna go a little faster now because my battery's dying. <laughs> Chain two, then four double crochets. But yeah, you do this all the way across. And then the last stitch, if you did it right, should be a single crochet only in the last stitch of the row. And I'll show you how to do row two if I can get through on my camera here. But one, so one, two, three, four. There we go. Chain two. Always remember that you chain two. It gives you that height you need to start the, to start the shell. There's one. Two, three, and four. All right, so you should have four stitches left. Let's see if we did it right. One, two, three, four, yep. Then you just do a single crochet in that last stitch. All right, so there's your first row of shell stitches. Very pretty. So then you chain three. We're just gonna keep on going. Again, my battery's dying. Turn your work. Now, in your first stitch, that single crochet from the last round you just did, four double crochets. These are the ones that's a little tricky because you're right there and it's really kind of crowded, but just do your best. Work through it. Three. And then four. Now this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Okay, so you have your shell you just did. Here's your next shell. On the very end is that chain two from when you started it. That's what you're gonna work into. So you're gonna go into it for a single crochet. So it attaches, then you're gonna chain two, and do four double crochet in that same chain two space. It's all in there together. So it's kinda nice, because it's a little bit bigger for you, for you to work in. Three, and four and there's another shell and it looks kind of funky on the side but the more you do it it's going to be looking a lot better then you look for that next chain two so you skip the shell look for that next chain two space single crochet to bring it all together and you do that all the way across and again the last stitch is going to be the last chain two from before from the row before it's right here single crochet in there, chain three, turn your work, and do it the same way all over again. And just keep doing that over and over and over until you're done. And then when you're done, um, is she had where she went in 
the top of every single crochet she went did single crochet in the top of each one I believe except for the ones in the middle here just went across single crochet and then she turned her work and did the same way again kind of helps flatten out the top and so yeah or you can just leave it if you want to you can just leave it with the shell stitch on top like this for a little bit of fancy edge if you want to just leave it like that it's also an option as well kind of end it how you like to because that would be kind of cool you know if you're doing a certain project where you want that little bit of ruffle on the top that's completely fine for you too and so I hope you guys liked this video sorry it was a little quick but with my battery dying <laughs> I wanted to show you at least the first couple rows of it to get you started and again you just keep going making sure you do that chain two and then the four double crochets all in the same space but it's turning out very pretty very easy to do very beginner friendly i hope you guys liked the video thanks for watching if you do please give it a like and a subscribe i can give a thumbs up as well leave any comments down below with anything you want to see me do next i hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and a good week ahead thanks for watching bye